miracle of life continues beyond inception and birth. And each new day, the wonder of our creation is seen as the human body works at restoration healing. Go with us on a journey of discovery. Learn how you can enjoy an abundant life, living in harmony with the divine laws of nature and healing. Join Danny Vieira and Junie Lawson in Adventures in Health. This week's presentation is titled Allopathic versus Natural Healing. Welcome to Adventures in Health. I'm Junie Lawson with Whitehorse Media, and this is my friend Danny Vieira, Director for Modern Mana Ministries and the Be Bella Vita Lifestyle Center. Today's program is part three of a 13 part series. The, t the title of the program today is Allopathic versus Natural Healing. And Danny, this is right up your alley, and I know I'm pretty <laughs> excited about it too, but I want you to tell us, give us a little mm -hmm. synopsis of what this message is about today. Well, I've been in the health food business for 25 years now, and I have five beautiful children that have rarely been to the medical doctors, have not had any well baby checkups, but it doesn't mean they've never been sick. But we've learned that there's other approaches that we can do when we're looking to correct a dis-ease within the body. And so I wanna start with telling you that this program is about natural healing versus medical intervention. Let's say if somebody gets a fever, do we have to run and take Tylenol? You know, and, and, or is there another approach? And, and I did the other approaches, and I've learned a lot over these 25 years, Junie. So we're gonna discuss this difference here and help hopefully educate people in regard to this, but I wanna begin with, with a, um, a couple statements, if I may. I, I really respect medical doctors. I do too. I, I am not one of those people that's way out and tell people don't ever take a drug and, and doctors are bad. It's not my message at all. And I believe doctors have done remarkably well in crisis intervention. Somebody breaks a bone, they get hit by a car, somebody's having a heart attack. But when it comes to chronic disease, I believe there's a lack. And it's probably because they don't understand the relationship between cause and effect. Sure. All right? So in chronic diseases, which I also say are lifestyle-induced diseases, for instance, such as heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, many of these type of conditions can be reversed. And even quoting, uh, um, what's his name, um, Esselstein, who recently came out with a book on reversing heart disease, he proved it. He proved it in his patients that you could reverse atherosclerotic plaque in the yes. arteries. So the message today is what are the ways that you at home or, or you personally can deal with disease or discomforts that are happening in the body? Mm -hmm. So again, it's about yeah. education. Yeah, and, and I agree with you. You know, I worked for 12 years for a surgeon and I had the greatest respect for him. Mm -hmm. Uh, a kind man, a wonderful bedside manner, and a great deal of knowledge. And mm -hmm. his whole goal was to help his right. patients. And yet, there are certain things that um, doctors aren't trained in. Yes. And since the time that I worked there, I mean, and, and I learned from him, mm -hmm. but since the time that I worked there, I've learned so much more mm -hmm. about how the body mm -hmm. can heal mm -hmm. itself. You know, in my field at Modern Mana, I do appointments, nutritional appointments with people. And to give you a for instance, I had a lady came in the other day and she's been to a number of medical doctors and she's just depressed, her immune system's low, she's allergic to everything, she doesn't feel good. And, and I said, has anybody ever looked at the possibility of fungal overgrowth or what they call candida albicans? Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, I, I was wondering about that. And I said, well, all the symptoms you're telling me fit that model. So I gave her one simple product called Candex, which is a, a supplement design for, for wiping out the overgrowth of fungus. And I did a radio show with the manufacturer of this product and I use it on people and I see tremendous results. Mm -hmm. And she came back in two, three weeks and says, I've never felt better in years. And she's now sending everybody to us mm -hmm. to come in for a So she came in to your health food store? She came into Modern Man and Ministries, mm -hmm. which is adjacent to the health food store, mm -hmm. and sat down for a consultation yeah. with me and changed her life. In fact, she brought someone else and someone else and her mother now, and she says, it's really changed my life. So the, we'll talk about more of those things mm -hmm. later, but, but let's get into the subject okay. today. The first thing that we want to talk about today is this model of natural healing versus medical intervention. The first thing on the list, Junie, is what? 
We have symptoms. Symptoms. Okay, so what's the difference between allopathic and natural healing in this regard? Well, what I learned was we need to listen to the body. Mm -hmm. And specifically, it says when your body's talking or communicating to you, and I say this isn't no new age concept, but I have an itch on my back that needs scratching. I'm thirsty, I need some water. I'm hungry, I need to eat, and I'm very tired, and I need to sleep, and I yawn, and my body's communicating to me. So we need to stop, look, and listen to this communication in the body. Now, let me tell you a story before I tell you what the medical intervention is. When, years ago, I was driving with somebody up a high, steep hill, and we had a number of people in the car, and suitcases and everything and the car started to steam the engine and it was overheating so we pull over on the side of the road because on the dashboard it started flashing hot 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 and so as we pulled over to the side of the road I got out of the car I'm going to open up the engine and see if the radiator hose broke but the guy with me says you know I can fix this he goes into the glove compartment box and pulls out a pair of wire cutters gets underneath the dashboard, finds the wire to where it's blinking hot, and he cuts it so the light stops flashing and he says it's fixed. Now I think of that many times as allopathic mm -hmm. because their intervention is dull, suppress, or completely remove the symptoms. So even though we stopped the light from flashing, we never really fixed anything. Mm -hmm. So my point is that, you know, and I say it this way, um, Headaches aren't a deficiency of aspirin. You could take it further and say, is cancer a deficiency of chemotherapy? So I think that symptoms is the body's way of communicating many times that something's going wrong. Let's say, for instance, somebody has diarrhea. Well, I can take a drug and plug it up, you know, or I can sit there and evaluate what may have caused this. Let's say there's a bacterial problem. Let's say I ate something that irritated my colon or whatever. So what I want to do in natural medicine and natural healing is to educate you on evaluating the cause mm -hmm. of the problem. What caused the headache? Is it I didn't drink enough water? Or um, let's say that, that, uh, that I'm stressed out and not getting enough sleep. Let's say it's food allergen and I have a migraine because I ate cheese or I ate chocolate or I ate something else that's an allergen. So we want to teach people eliminate the cause mm -hmm. and start to listen to the body, all right, rather than just take a medication to dull the symptom. Another illustration that I like, joint pain. I learned that, you know, sometimes when you're having pain in your joint, you can take an aspirin, you can take a painkiller, and you can wipe out that pain. But is the body communicating? Again, is there a lack of water that you need for the synovial fluid in the joint, okay? Is it that you're taking, uh, you're not getting enough nutrients, you're, 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 you're deficient in magnesium, okay? Let's say you're not getting the, the essential fatty acids that you need. So that's why I try to teach people, listen to the body. It's trying to communicate with you and don't necessarily always run. The first thing you need to do is take a medication to wipe out the symptom mm -hmm. because that symptom we need to address the cause. So if you can get to the root of the problem, exactly. you can take care of it perhaps without ever having to take the medication. That's right, and, and there is a statement, and I'm not, again, a person that's slamming drugs. Mm -hmm. I believe in perhaps drugs as a last resort, but in natural medicine, I've always looked at the first thing I'm gonna do is evaluate the cause. Did I not get any sleep that I have a headache? Well, then I need to sleep before I'm just gonna start taking medication. All right, so I want to evaluate the cause, number one. And then the other things is make sure that the body's getting the things it needs to operate properly. Like what? Water, mm -hmm. good nutrition, sleep. Fresh air. Fresh air, Fresh exactly. Air. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Dr. Bob's Back and Body Roller is a simple but effective device that helps keep the spine flexible, relaxes tight muscles, relieves pinched nerves, and helps with bad posture. Use daily for minor back pain. The Back and Body Roller is an at-home chiropractic treatment that can save you money. Order today for only $45 by calling 1-800-655-3228 or write to Modern Man of Ministries, 519 South Central Avenue, Lodi, California, 95240. 
Candex is an all-natural yeast management system that helps control Candida albicans. The natural enzymes in Candex dissolve fungal walls effectively, eliminating yeast gently from the body without the unpleasant effects of die-off. To order the effective Candex product today for only $59.95, call 1-800-655-3228. Ask for offer 203 when you call or write to Modern Mana Ministries, 519 South Central Avenue, Lodi, California, 95240. Now back to Adventures in Health. So I want to evaluate the cause, number one. And then the other things is make sure that the body's getting the things it needs to operate properly. Like what? Water, mm -hmm. good nutrition, sleep. Fresh air. Fresh air, sunshine. exactly, <laughs> sunshine. So if we correct these areas that perhaps we're violating, the body can balance and it can heal and it can repair itself because God gave you an immune system. So the focus in natural healing is, is what? Right here, it says. Create a healthy person. To create a healthy Juni. Mm -hmm. In the medical, it's to destroy, kill, or cure a disease. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'll tell another story that was remarkable to me. There's Dr. Francisco Contreras who runs the Oasis of Hope Hospital, which is an alternative cancer hospital in Mexico. And I went there at a time where I wanted to learn more. I wanted to see, well, what kind of therapies are they doing down here and why are they illegal? Well, when I went there, I heard Dr. Contreras tell a story. And it was about his father, Ernesto Contreras. And he's the one who coined the word holistic medicine because he went to the Holy Land and he said, you know, they had a room for the physical body with the doctor and they had the room for the mind with the psychiatrist and they had the room with the priest for the spiritual. So he saw, we need to treat the patient holistically. Now it has a bad connotation mm, to the word mm -hmm. holistic, but he went one time at the request of doctors to Sloan Kettering, which is the number one cancer um, place in America you know, hospital, and he went there at the request of American doctors because they wanted to ask him about his alternative treatments. So when he got there, he had an x-ray of a man with lung cancer, and he put up the x-ray, and he showed the tumor in the lung, and he said, you know, and here this man's begun on our natural methods and therapies and diet therapies, and here's his picture nine months later, and here's the tumor, the same size. And he said American doctors got up, one of them left the table, he came back with x-rays and said, well, here's ours. And after he took our conventional treatments, nine months later, the tumor's gone. And Dr. Contreras said, and what's the status of your patient today? He said, well, years later, he's dead. He says, well, mine's alive with tumor and all. He says, because many times you're trying to eradicate disease by cutting this out and using chemotherapy for that. Our focus is to create a healthy person. Mm -hmm. So I don't really care if that tumor's not growing at all. That person's healthy, he's maintaining his wellness, and he has quality of life. Right. So I want to emphasize creating a healthy person rather than destroying and trying to kill disease. And the body, many times when you create a healthy person, you're not gonna succumb to these diseases. And sometimes when in trying to kill the disease, the immune system is so weakened that the, that very, the body just doesn't come Very good come point. Down. And oftentimes, you know, there was something I read once that said, you know, more people are dies, dying from the treatment than they are mm -hmm. from the disease itself. And, and we know chemotherapy is a, a, a very hard it's drug. A, and it's a hard thing for people to go through. It, it, it's very, very hard. Mm -hmm. so, so we want to look and stop and listen to our bodies when it's communicating to us. Mm -hmm. We want to focus on creating a healthy person and then methods of treatment. Junie, why don't you share this first one here in regards to natural healing. What's the mm -hmm. approach in natural healing in the methods of mm -hmm. treatment? Setting up a proper living environment so our body can heal itself. This is done through changes in our food program, elimination, movement, emotions, and lifestyle. Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. And you know, I, I, like I said, I've been on infomercials all over the country right now talking about death beginning in the colon. And, and we, we market a product called the Almighty Cleanse. But it's true. In America, and I'm just going to touch on this briefly, that you know, the medical profession says there's no medical reason to have a bowel movement every day. 
and considered normal in America now is, is anywhere from three to five a week is considered normal and constipation is two or less. Now, I personally don't think you can feel good and we'll get into that in the upcoming shows on auto intoxication and self poisoning. But what this is telling me here is I need to make changes. It's a in, symptom. Yes, the food program. Mm -hmm. So we talked about the standard American diet. The food program's been wrong in America and we're paying the price. That's it. Okay, so we need to alter it to, let's say, a whole food or all natural type food program. I call it whole plant foods in whole form. And I, I give an illustration, it's kind of funny. I said, here, see your hand, every finger is a different length. But when I turn it, they're all the same length, perfectly designed by God to pick the cherries and the grapes and the apples. All right, I don't have claws, I don't have fangs, I don't have a digestive system to handle the fat and the cholesterol and all the animal foods. So I, I'm a plant eater. I want to eat more whole plant foods in whole form and organic is very important today because the pesticides and the chemicals, sure. they're poisoning us. So elimination, proper elimination. The medical field says three a week, the natural field says three a day. Big difference. Big difference. And I often tell the story where Dr. Schultz and Dr. Contreras traveled the world to see what were the healthiest people free from the colon diseases because colorectal cancer, death from that in this country is the second leading cause of death from cancer. They found anywhere from two to four a day. You eat three times a day, you should eliminate at least two to three times a day. So elimination is pr most important because you have to evacuate the waste. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's going to rot within you. So proper food choices, whole plant food in whole form. Then you have proper bowel elimination. And movement is what? Exercise. How critical is that? I give an illustration about a river. Think of a river that's stagnant. The water isn't running. And you got these ponds, these cesspool ponds there, and they smell and it's not moving, it's not fresh water. And I think of your bloodstream. When you exercise, you cause circulation like a river running with the water sparkling and carrying away the waste matter. So exercise, the most important thing for exercise is circulation and to bring oxygen and nutrients mm -hmm. to every part of your body to bring blood, you know, where needed so the body can repair. So great food in, waste out, as God designed it to be, and then movement and exercise. And then the next thing is emotions. Because I read nine tenths of the diseases can have the origin in the mind. Mm -hmm. Your negative emotions communicate with your cells and can suppress immune function. Then it says, and lifestyle. Do you work too hard? Do stress. You Stress. It's a big, big one in, the, in this country. That's huge. Mm -hmm. So your lifestyle's wrong. You're not playing. You're not taking vacations. Your marriage is bad. You got negative emotions. You're constipated. You don't exercise and you're eating McDonald's. So the natural healing method is assistance. We need to assist nature. We need to help our bodies to create a healthy person. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if we look at intervention, what does it say here as far as the medical profession? <clears throat> Where are we here? Right there. Okay. It says attacking, killing, and removing disease using drugs and surgery, altering or removing malfunctioning parts or organs. Example would be coronary bypass surgery, appendectomy, mastectomy. Right. And, and so in on. certain cases, there's an emergency again when somebody's having mm -hmm. a burst appendix. You have to do crisis intervention. Sure. The doctor's doing right. But many times, these diseases are again the result of improper lifestyle practices, and then we end up on drugs and medication. Mm. Now let me share a story with yes. you, and I know you're familiar with this one because I called <clears throat> you about it. Okay. I have a friend that I've known for many years. She called me a while back, and she said, my doctor tells me I need to have my gallbladder out. Yes. She said, I have pain, I have gallstones, but I have no insurance, and mm -hmm. I have no money. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea what <laughs> I can do? And I said, I think so. Let me call my friend Danny, and I'll get back to you. So I called you. You remember that. And you gave me over the phone a cleanse that she could do, a gallbladder cleanse. For the gallbladder cleanse. cleanse, yes. And I gave her that information. 
she went for it, she did it, and then later she went back to her doctor. A few weeks later, she went back to her doctor, told the doctor what she'd wow. done, and the doctor asked her how she was feeling, and she said, I haven't had any pain since. Wow. You know, that is such a simple remedy of olive simple. oil yeah. and, and lemon. lemon. And the lemon can help dissolve stones. And I often think of, you know, when you're drinking that olive oil, you're going to cause the gallbladder to purge, kind of like, <laughs> and it's going <laughs> to shoot all the stones and, and cleanse itself out. And I, I did that on my mother and saved her from surgery yeah. and gave that information to other people and saved them from surgery. So that's assisting nature. The next one is therapeutic products. With the natural healing method, you have products of nature, wholesome fruits, vegetables, grains, seeds, whole food um, supplements, sea vegetables, no side effects. Mm -hmm. What are the side effects of drug medication? You have the physician's desk references that gives you the list and list of side effects. How many Long. commercial TV, television commercials do you see on taking this drug for indigestion may cause heartburn and other problems? This drug for depression may cause depression. Mm -hmm. I mean, the side effects, I don't like side effects. No, and sometimes the list of side <clears throat> effects is so big that it makes you, well, I, it would make me afraid to take that product. Right, and what about mixing all these drugs together? I tell people, dangerous. I'd ask the pharmacist, if you want to know about interaction and contraindication with drugs, call the pharmacist. Mm -hmm. He's the drug specialist. Right. But I'm afraid that many of these drugs, and Charlotte Gerson all, all, always made this statement too, who runs the Gerson Therapy, another alternative healing place, and she says to me, all drugs are liver toxic, bar none. And we know Tylenol is. So I'm not saying, you know, no drugs. I'm saying maybe there's a different way. Maybe evaluate the cause. Maybe you're just lacking water. Maybe you're not having enough movement. Maybe you're not eliminating properly. Maybe you're not getting the right foods for this body to be sustained. Maybe you need to focus on creating a healthy person. So there's a difference in the therapeutic products. How about the modalities? Again, a whole food program, cleansing and detoxifying routines, exercise and movement, body work, hydrotherapy, emotional healing, and the Word of God is a great place to go, and changing the way we live, work, and we play and rela relate. But in the medical intervention again, surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, stimulants, sedatives, suppressive drugs, carnivore diet, um, and the list goes on, and changes in one's lifestyle and habits are rarely discussed. Emotions, positive attitude. What's the scripture? A merry heart, that's good like a, like a medicine. Like a medicine. Mm -hmm. So a positive attitude, a joyful attitude. And, and I'll tell you as we get into, we're doing two shows on attitude of healing that's coming up. Good. And that's incredible. Even certain body organs affected by certain negative emotions, such as bitterness and anger with the liver. And I'll tell you stories of people where I saw that totally. Uh, that was the truth. It, was, it, it fit. And um, people have come to our wellness center at Bella Vida Lifestyle Center. So the last one here is, first of all, the emotions, let's go back there, positive attitude, excitement, strength, trust in nature, God, in, in God, love, laughter, and negative attitude, coping, anxiety, fear, weakness, depression, being out of control in your life is in someone else's hands. Dear doctor, I have this feeling and that feeling. I read a book years ago by Ann Widmore, Be Your Own Doctor. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see people learn more about that. You know, Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, what did they have? Herbs on the show. Sure. Mm -hmm. You were going to share something? Well, I was just going to say, you know, when people go to the doctor, they're telling the doctor all the things that are wrong with them. Right. The doctor tries to make a decision based on the information they're given. Right. So and they so know their body the best. They do. So my, my life's out of my hands. It's in your hands. I want to see people take some ownership back. Mm -hmm. Medical doctors, don't exclude them. You need them at times. But... We need to take a better responsibility with ourselves and realize we are creating many of our own diseases. I think that's the key, isn't it? Taking responsibility. Yes. And you know, three words that I want people to remember today. Simplicity, make the program simple. Responsibility, you have to do it yourself and be willing to make change. All right? So change is another one. You got to make change. And if something isn't working, then you try something else. The last one is this word responsibility. You touched at it at lunch. Mm -hmm. I can't do it for you. No more than the foolish virgins could get the oil from the lamp from the wise virgin, which symbolized their character. Their preparation couldn't be transferred to the one because character can't be transferred. So I can't do this for you. 
I can tell you what to do, but I can't do it for you. You must stop eating the wrong things. You must begin starting to move and put get on a regular exercise program. And, and many people listening today, maybe you've said, you know, he's right. I've been wanting to do this. And, and you know, maybe today's your day. It's time to make a change. It's time to be responsible. And it's time to make that program a simple program. You're going to save money. You're going to help more people as you learn to help yourself. That's right. You're going to help your children. Mm -hmm. You're going to have many blessings as a result of learning to take responsibility for yourself. So let's recap these, if we will, because I know we just have a couple minutes. Learn to stop, look, and listen. Listen when your body's communicating. Create a healthy person. Your strongest defense against disease is your own immune system that God has put within you. Be obedient to his laws of health. Assist nature in the healing of the patient. Take that water. Take that whole food, get that fiber into your system. And, and if you're not experiencing proper elimination and on a daily exercise program, then you need to begin today. Find out what you need to do to make those changes. That's right. And we're going to fine tune these, you know, on each show. And, and I, I know how fast time goes by, but we just have, you know, about a minute and 50 seconds left here. But let's wrap this up. There's no side effects with the things of nature, even though people come and say the doctor warns them about that herb. I said, you know, ask the doctor when's the last time he took a class in herbology. Okay, I know people are saying herbs, but then again, there's so many good herbs out there. There's a few that you have to be cautious with, yes, or interaction with drugs. So it is important even in natural healing to be educated, mm -hmm. all right? But the biggies, positive attitude. How important is that, Junie? It's very important because it affects your whole body, That's your right. emotions. Very good point. It's going to affect your healing, mm -hmm. right? It can suppress your immune function. A broken spirit dries the bones, but a merry heart does good like a medicine. Remember that. So the difference between the natural healing, the medical intervention, to wrap it up, is that I like to choose different things, things of nature, to heal, correct the things in my life that are wrong, have a positive mental attitude. If you're discouraged, go do something for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay, Helping Think. others is an encouraging. It encourages you as you strive to it encourage is. them. So I hope from today's program, the point I want to make is there's two healing modalities. One is natural, one is allopathic. I say get more educated yourself that you'll know what to do for yourself and use your doctor when necessary. Mm -hmm. And I'm never opposed to diagnostic exams. If you don't know what's wrong, go find out. Mm -hmm. But you do have a choice in what you're going to do for your treatment. All right. Well, I know that you've been blessed in this program as I have, and I hope that you'll decide to be proactive and take another step forward in taking care of your own health. And I want to remind you, the topic for our next program will be Healing Lessons from the Bible. You won't want to miss it.